We live in a world that runs on electricity, alternating current and direct current. The flow of electrons shapes our daily lives, everything we produce, and everything we do. AC powers our grid, our street lights, our ovens, and our clocks. DC powers the things that define us, our music, our phones, our laptops, our tablets, and our cars. AC and DC work together, but now the world needs more power than ever, power with a smaller environmental impact. AC and DC will be partners as we look towards a more DC world. And in a more DC world, we could make a world of difference. Connect to renewable energy sources in extremely remote locations, wherever the wind is blowing or water flowing. Capture the clean power of the sun and send it from the Sahara to the Alps or anywhere in between. In a more DC world, electric cars could pull up to any corner and charge up in the time it takes to grab a coffee and a croissant and then go anywhere near or far. Energy-hungry data centers could allow billions of web pages to be stored and served using 25% less resources and space. Buildings and homes could use a single source to feed DC power directly and efficiently to devices that run on DC power, like lighting, computers, appliances, and equipment. More DC on ships could help them operate better, save space, weight, and fuel. If we lived in a world with more DC, we could be more efficient and reliable, lowering our impact on the environment while making every kilowatt count. In other words, today, more DC would mean a world of difference in all of our lives. It's the right power at the right time, but that wasn't always the case. About a hundred years ago, during the Industrial Revolution, a fight broke out over which type of electricity to use. In one corner was Thomas Edison, weighing in with direct current by his side. In the other corner stood Nikola Tesla and George Westinghouse battling for alternating current. The fighting was fierce, and the two sides crisscrossed New York City trying to electrify each street with their power. But AC had the edge. It could be easily used to build a large, functional power grid. So in the end, AC won out. It might have seemed like DC was all washed up, but it wasn't. It actually went underwater and then overhead where it began to flourish. It turned out that DC's pure power was perfect for transmitting high voltage electricity over extremely long distances. Sophisticated new power electronics made conversions between AC and DC easier so they could more effectively work together. From high voltage to very low voltage, power electronics began allowing people to take advantage of DC strengths. Today, DC is evolving energy. It is helping create more clean and cost-effective technologies across a whole range of possibilities, from large to small. And it complements the infrastructures that shape our world. DC Power, making a world of difference.